So our first, why am I looking? Mm. <laughs> so much just happened there. Woo! Okay. Started reaching for the book before oh, I even no. talked about the prompt. You Let's get the it. book. Yeah. Let's get the book, <laughs> then talk about the prompt, and then we're not leaning forward. Mm. Hey, everybody. My name is Kelsey, and we're about to get very far. I didn't do the you part. I'm so sorry. Let me do that again. <laughs> okay. Hi everybody, my name is Kelsey, I have a Chris, and we're about to get very, very nerdy with our November TBRs. So yes, you heard that correctly, you heard our... TBRs because we are doing something very special, very exciting for November. Um, I always think of November as like the mystery month. And so last year, Chris over here, I think it was last year. Or was it the year two, before? It was two years. Oh, okay. It's I been a while. It was right, right when we all uh, got sent home. <laughs> yep, that's right. Um, so he created a readathon for himself about mystery books. It's all about mystery books. There are seven prompts. And so we've decided to do this this year together. So we're going to go through all of the prompts and then what each of us are going to be reading for each thing. I will leave all of them down below. If you would like to join, you are more than welcome to. Feel free to do that and let me know if you do. So like she said, uh, right when we got sent home, I was reading a lot. Like a lot of people was reading a lot. And in the month of May, I was like, hey, alliteration, mysterious May. And so I've read a bunch of mysteries in May and hit a slump at the end of it and finished it in like November, but it was fine. But yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some things. You ready? <laughs> I'm really good at this, I swear. <laughs> so the first prompt is a true crime. Really feel like that doesn't need a whole lot of mm -hmm. explanation because everybody knows what that is, but it's a nonfiction <laughs> book. <laughs> a nonfiction That book. is mysterious or mystery adjacent. So, you I'm going to read All American Murder by James Patterson along with Alex Abramovich with Mike yeah. Harvkey. There it is. Harvkey. Hmm. There's, There's a lot a, of names. There's a K in there that I did not see before. Oh, yeah. So, this is about Aaron Hernandez, who was an NFL tight end, who won a Super Bowl and then got arrested for two murder for for one murder, and they were like, "Oh, and these other two, and ended up dying in prison. Um, he went to the University of Florida, so of course, and then played for the New England Patriots. So like, it was everything that I did not enjoy, but it was a really bizarre story that just kind of happened really quickly. It's like one day you get a notification on your phone that he's been arrested, and then the next day it's like, oh, and then there's these two other murders, and you're like, what is happening? That's my nonfiction book. Perfect. It makes sense that it's sporcy, just knowing you. Um, and then I am going to go with The Cases That Haunt Us, and this is by John Douglas and Mark, oh no, Allshaker? Allshaker? That's how I'd say it. Okay. Um, and it's an FBI mind hunter. So basically like this guy who works for the FBI and like he looks at a bunch of different um, cases, including Jack the Ripper and Joe Bennett Ramsey and like basically analyzes these people. And so like it's a collection of his analysis is, does that sort of word? Analyses. Um, analyses? He's analyzing a bunch of people and telling you about it. So um, I've just read a book about the women who were murdered by Jack the Ripper. So like this tie, I'm very interested in like this guy's interpretation of a bunch of people. So that's my true crime. Yeah, we did right. good. So I started to get a little cutesy with it. So the next one is The Lady Detective, which is stolen 100% from Carrie Greenwood's uh, Franny Fisher. Um, what was the name of that show? Franny Fisher Mysteries? Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries? Yeah. Miss Fisher's Fish Murder Mysteries um, was the TV show based on the books. But I was like, oh, cute. So this is about a female detective written by a female author or features a female character in some way, shape, or form. Preferably not the victim. Yeah, she has to be Singularly like... Singularly the victim. Mm -hmm. Like, it could be a female detective solving a female murder, but, like, yeah. not... <laughs> 
you get the idea. So, I will be reading um, Heat Wave by Richard Castle, which is from a different TV show featuring a female detective. Um, I know nothing about it except that it's featured on the ABC television show Castle, and mm -hmm. it's not actually by Richard Castle or um, Nathan Fillion. It's by yeah, somebody else. But it says Nathan Fillion, like it's got Nathan Fillion's picture with Richard Castle underneath it. It's um, it says they unravel the secrets of a murdered real estate tycoon, um, and it's this detective. And then like in the show, it's a it's a guy who's writing books about a detective, and this it's a uh, magazine journalist who follows her around. But I've actually read that one, so I'm curious to see what you will think. She's read a few of mine. I have. I'm excited. Um, and mine is going to be Finlay Donovan is Killing It, and this is by L. Com oh, no, I do this every time. Cosimano, I think. Um, it's the first in a series. It's about this woman who is a single working mom, and she is trying to be a writer. And so she's in a coffee shop one day with her like editor and she's explaining the story she has and someone overhears her and thinks that she's actually like a hit woman and like hires her to be a hit woman. Um, and so it's it's her maybe possibly doing that. I don't really know. It just sounded like it was goofy and fun. The next one says two sides to every story. So this is a story that's told from multiple perspectives, um, be that the 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 detective and the killer or the criminal or Two whatever them. like yeah. more than one perspective mm -hmm. so kelsey told me to read um and then there were none by agatha christie surprise kelsey picked an agatha christie book for me it so did. i'm looking forward it's to it it's my favorite one by her it looks it looks interesting I read it last November, last year, I think, at this time. I'm trying to remember how many people are in it. Ten. There are ten people in it. And it's, like, third person, but um, it's these ten people who get, like, summoned to an island. And there's this nursery rhyme about ten soldiers, and they each die based on what the nursery rhyme says. And so they're trying to figure out who did it because it's very clear that it's someone in this party is the one who's doing it. So. Oh, and the, uh, the reflection on the water is a skull. Oh, yes, it is. I forgot about that. That's a good one, though. I like that one a lot. Really fun for you. Yeah. And then my multi-perspective is The Appeal by Janice Hallett. I'm finally going to read this after two years. Um, and it's got, like, it's mixed media. So we've got, like, emails and letters and text messages and articles on the interwebs and also in, like, the newspaper and stuff like that. Um, and so I... He said it could count as multi-perspective, so I'm taking his word for it, and we're making this multi-perspective. Um, so it's basically this town, someone dies, and there's someone in the town, I believe he's like a law professor, but I might be wrong on that, um, thinks that the person who's been convicted or accused, I can't remember exactly what, if they've actually been convicted yet, but accused of the murder um, is not the actual person who killed the, the person who died. And so you are given this book as like the account of everything and you as the reader are like a law student trying to figure out if like who actually did it so that's my multi-perspective one i'm excited she she gave it to my uncle that looks like me but is not me um and he, he read it and it. very much enjoyed it which is saying something because they recommended this book and i haven't even read it yet so what does that say about me oh my gosh i looked away for two seconds I have the hat. I don't get to wear it very often. <laughs> the next one is, I believe, taken from a Jimmy Buffett song. Um, and it's called Pencil Thin Mustache. And the song goes, I wish I had a pencil thin mustache. Then I could solve mysteries, too. Um, so it's an old-fashioned, old-timey book or set in old times. Um, this is made out of wool, and it's quite warm. <laughs> the bit is now over. So I will be not reading this entire massive book. <laughs> um, it's a compilation. It's the complete Sherlock Holmes. Part one. Volume one. Part two's over there. We have volume two, too. It's the Barnes & Noble collection, in case you were wondering. So I will be reading The Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes, which is... Was it good? It's a couple hundred pages, maybe? <laughs> that long. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I will be reading along with an audio book because that's a lot. And mm -hmm. it's really That's tiny. really tiny text, yeah. And then I will be reading an Agatha Christie book because, hello. Surprise. Um, and it's the ABC Murders. Uh, so I don't think this is a Perot book. I think this is not connected to one of her people, but I might be very wrong about that. I couldn't tell on here if it was or not. So it may be, I don't know. I think John Malkovich plays it in the uh, I TV feel like show. you're right, because I remember seeing him somewhere. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what it is, but I think it's exactly what it sounds like, is like there's a bunch of victims and their names are like, like the for example, the first person's name is Alice Asher, and so it's going to be like that as you go along. Um, oh, it is a Perot. There he is right there. Perot. It's a Perot book. Wrong. Okay. I, I was wrong. I wasn't sure. I thought it might be, but um, yeah. So we picked this one up relatively recently and I'm excited about it. It's good. So of course, Agatha Christie. Why not? The next one is based off of a book series that we had that was called And Nobody Got Hurt. Um, and it's about these ridiculous sports stories that happen because my brother and I are giant sports nerds. Um, but this one is called At Least Nobody Died. I can't confirm that nobody dies in this book, but my assumption based on the previous two in the series is that nobody dies. So I will be reading The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Um, I have to know what happens. I have no I hate every character in this book. But the plot is so good that I keep reading it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I got to I got to know what happens. So here we go. So this series is um one that we've both read. I have this is the final book in the series. So neither of us have read this one so yet. It's the Hawthorne and that's the second one. It's the Inheritance nope. Games. Inheritance Games, Hawthorne Legacy, Legacy, Final Gambit. Yeah. Um, and so the first one is like, everyone says if you like Knives Out in the movie, you would like it. But it's basically this girl who gets this giant inheritance and can't figure out why. Um, and she and the four grandsons of this guy that she gets the inheritance from um, try to figure out what's going on and why her. And there's riddles everywhere. And so, um, and secret, the secret, second secrets. book wrapped up everything yeah and now there's a third one so i, I feel like there was an epilogue that is. i've forgotten about maybe but um yeah i don't know what's going on here but it'll be interesting yeah and then my book is going to be portrait of a thief and this is by grace Dilly. uh this one is about like it's a high steed book um which is why it's in the no no murders category um uh, but it has to do with, and I forget this every time, it has to do with a true story of Chinese art vanishing from Western museums, um, colonization, and things of that nature. And I think it is like this heist of trying to get said art back. It reminds me of the Monument Man every time I think about it. So we'll see how actual accurately that is aligned. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's any murder mystery in this. It's just the mystery and the heist. Like I'm excited. It. So the next title is based off of, well, since I'm reading Castle, it's another ABC show that was canceled. Um, I didn't ever watch it. My parents did, but it was called The Kids Are All Right. So this is a middle grade book or a book about kids or for kids or mm -hmm. whatever you want to do. That's a mystery. It's a middle grade. Mm -hmm. So I will be reading The Yellow House Mystery by the great GCW. Um, wow, that blends in with the wall right now with the way the light is. I grew up reading... Boxcar Children, Gertrude Chandler Warner. Um, so anytime I can find an excuse to read a good old GCW, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. I like it. And I'm going to be going with the great Shelby Holmes. And this is by Elizabeth Olberg, I believe. Um, and it's like kids. It's like this girl who was called Shelby Holmes and her friend who I'm forgetting John oh it's John Watson it's actually the same name okay um and so it's the two of them I don't really know what the story's about but it's based on Sherlock Holmes and that's and what I like we got it from a book fair we got it school, from a book fair so you like we it. supported a good cause we did but it sounds interesting so it sounds interesting we'll oh there's pictures if she hadn't read it I was going to What's, there's some things I'm actually gonna pass up GCW for that oh that's 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 big. I would have worked it in somewhere else. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah. Oh, look, there we go. That's why I try to find big old 
page page length. And finally, the last one I hate the name of. So I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't okay, like it. So you all can come up with a better name for me. But it's a first-person perspective book. It doesn't have to be the first person of the victim. It could be, it's just told from an I, you, like it's told from first person. So I will be reading Mr. Monk on the Couch by Lee Goldberg. This, these books are all told from the perspective of his lovely assistant, Natalie Teeger. And they're really funny. They're very well written. I've read some of the other USA mm -hmm. Network books based on the TV show, and they're not as good. So this is, these are my favorite ones. And if you are a Monk fan, I highly recommend these books. Yeah. <laughs> Obsessive Compulsive Detective. Your favorite? Always. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go with one that I don't own. Um, and that is If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. This is a dark academia book for reasons. It follows a guy who something happens like many years ago and so he goes to jail and it's never figured out exactly what happened the night someone dies. It's just, I think it's his actor troupe and they're obsessed with Shakespeare. And um, so the detective who put him away and like worked on the case um, is retiring or has retired and like meets with him after he gets out of jail and basically is like, okay, I don't, I'm not going to do anything. I just need to know what happened. And so he tells the story of what led up to this murder and you know stuff like that so um it's been told as like one of the better well-known hyped dark academia books so i'm interested to see what it's about also shakespeare so yay cool well now that our light has sufficiently left um we're going to end the video here so i hope that you guys enjoyed i'm very excited about november um i will be vlogging so i'm sure i'm sure he will show up i'll give make him do updates for you on how everything is going um <laughs> but please let me know down below if you, this is something that you are interested in if you'd like to join um like i said at the beginning if there's a murder mystery book that you are you love we love recommendations so feel free to leave those down below or if not something that you were planning on reading in november what is what does that look like for you we would love to know but if you like this video and we very much hope that you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you'd like to be part of this awesome growing family i've also got all my social media as well as other fun bookish links down below so don't forget to check all of those out and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>